Ready? Okay. Alright. Yeah, We're gonna go do the chores. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's wagon it. The wagon. Yep, we'll get the wagon. So what is going on everyone? It is a rainy, wet day today, and we caught a little break. And we're gonna go do this evening's chores. The kids are gonna be home shortly from school. I was able to have today off. And it was a good day just hanging out with the family. And we're just waiting for the boys to get home. Dad, look at Dad, look at that. I see. Great. So I was hoping the boys would come here. I got my partner, Daisy. We got the wagon full. We got all the different feeds for the goats and sheep. I even got Lloyd's feed. So I got to go all the way up top of the hill. And then I'm going to drop some feed off at the Berkshires. I'm really excited because in a few weeks we're going to be start butchering them. Uh, we're going to be butchering Ida as well and one Berkshire and then Life on Beagle Road is going to be coming and we're going to be butchering theirs together so that's going to be really fun too. I'm going to show you guys the newest member of the herd. She is beautiful. Tri-colored brown and black with that white patch right on its head. She is gorgeous and she's doing really good. Maple here is an excellent mother. I mean, look at her. She just has that white patch right on the tip of her nose. You want to come in? Well, that's for the sheep, honey. That's for the sheep. Yep. It's broken. We'll fix it. Do you want to come in here with the with the goat? Okay. So if you were looking at our Instagram, we were gonna name this goat with the Super Bowl winner. And if you you know if you didn't know, Kansas City won. So we're gonna name it Casey. You know the girl named Casey. However, Jet wants to name it Milkshake. So I think we're gonna go with Milkshake. Um, Jet is really still down about losing Elephant. And we're probably gonna keep this one. It's really cool. I'm really excited to see what Missy's kids are. Yeah, yeah. you wanna come in? Yeah. Whoa, uh -huh. I gotcha. Missy is looking real big. So I'm really excited to see what her goats look like. Now, you're not, you don't really wanna judge your herd by their color. However, you know, kids like cool looking goats. So, Jet really likes it. And what's really funny is she's been hiding right underneath, right underneath the basket. So, no complaints there. She's just nice and warm. <laughs> Pretty cool. Endale. What's that? Idis and Dale. Yeah. So so we ended up moving Lloyd and Ida out of here. We put Ida right next to them, right where uh, our first pig paddock is usually at for the past two years. And we moved Ida and our weather up at the top of the hill. So we do have to go up there and, you know, water and feed. 
However, that's all we got right now, and it's working. So that's what we got going on right now. You want to go deliver the rest of the feed? Yeah. Yeah. This is my dog. Doing really good. Good job, Maple. This is probably one big disappointment right here. So this year's compost that was ready to go in the garden, the chickens have demolished it. There must have been some good worms and some good bugs in there because this pallet box was completely filled with nice compost. And as you can tell, it is all kicked out and down to nothing. So we're going to have to scrape that all up and put it on the garden because that's some good soil right there. Whoa, what's up, Jet? How you doing? Good. We were just talking about milkshake. Milkshake's doing good, huh? Is that what we're gonna name it? No, hot chocolate. Oh, hot chocolate, my mistake. It looks like hot chocolate. Pretty cool, huh? Uh -huh. Instead of Casey? Uh -huh. Hot chocolate. So my mistake, not milkshake. We're gonna be naming her hot chocolate. Because this is Jet's goat. And it's I like I like the coloring of it. Again, you don't really want to pick your goats off what they look like. Um, you know, but it's still cool, right? Uh-huh. You're gonna help with the chores? Yeah. Alright, so it started raining, so we gotta get moving. I got my fancy uh, pink umbrella over the camera. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, we don't want the camera to get wet. Let's go deliver the feed. You ready? You ready, Daisy? You want to go inside? All right, let's go deliver her first. What's that? I do. How does the umbrella stay to the camera? I'm just holding it. <clears throat> holding it on the tripod. I gotta make. I'm gonna make it like a clamp because if it's raining, you can't film. If there's like a clamp you could put on a tripod, it'd be kind of cool because it's kind of, I gotta squeeze both the tripod and the, and the uh, umbrella handle. So you can see how this could, could get some, could, could get tiring, but hey, do what we can, right? Your boot? Yeah, All right. Mama. Mama. All right, let's take your boots off. Like What's it. that? Yep, take your boots off. Good girl. Go tell Mama. Let's go here. I just want to do it. He had enough. Yeah. No, we haven't even started yet. All right. Weston, you come in. All right, let's go, Jet. We're just going to do some chores. Coming back. Coming. Let's go. It's always fun doing chores with the kids. I like when they. Help out, teaches them important lessons of responsibility. And they just like doing it, right, Chet? Okay. Yeah? So I think Daisy would have lasted, but like I said, it's raining out. So, oh well. Let's deliver this food. Let's pull it up. Let's do it. You can blow it shut. Ah, it's shutting. Let's go to the sheep first. They're making noise. We're coming. Helen, how you doing? Helen, she sure loves the camera. Every time I come out here, she just follows us around. It's so cool. You coming? That's so funny. Look at Helen's following us. All right, can I have the sheep food? Uh, bucket. nope, the white bucket. Good. Oh. Where we go? 
on. Let's go right here. Uh, you're walking in your dish. Oh, I completely missed it. We got to get some hay for him too, okay? okay? Remember that. All right. Do you want to do the pigs first or walk all the way up to Lloyd and the weather? Probably the pigs first, huh? No, Lloyd, and then we can go down to get the pig hole to meet Well, what if we drop this 50-pound bag off? That way I don't have to carry you and the feed. Yeah. Yeah? All right, hop back in. One thing that's cool that I want to show you guys is you can see where we had the meat birds. Right here is really nice and green. And then just over to the left, you can see it's all brown. That green is because of all the nitrogen that was dropped from the meat birds as we're moving them each day. And that's really cool because come springtime, this grass is gonna explode. Now the other side will too, but it's healthier. This, this nitrogen filled grass is gonna be healthier for the next animals that run across it. What's up? Remember when the, the grass was way tall? Hey, we couldn't even walk. Yeah. Yeah. And we wanted to duck down to hide in it. Yeah, you're like, uh, like a cheetah ready to pounce on some chickens, right? Uh huh. That's really fun. I'm really, I'm really excited for spring. I mean, it hasn't been a bad winter, but this weather is awful. Like, uh, if it's winter, I want it to snow. So. And it, there's no snow. Woo! So we made it on top of the hill. I tell you what, Jet. You're getting big, buddy. You're getting real big. So, last video, when Hot Chocolate was born, Lloyd got really, really aggressive towards us. So we ended up bringing him up here into, I mean, this was, we used this for pigs. We use this for when we weaned uh, last year's kids off their moms. And right now, it's gonna, this is going to be a bachelor pad. We got Lloyd and our weather that we're trying to grow and get nice and fat. We got them up here alone. Yeah, it's a little inconvenience of having to walk up here with food and water. But that's what we got. We're going to use it instead of spending more money on something. Use what we have. And the rain's coming down pretty good. I'm glad I got this umbrella. Let's see. You're looking hungry. You got enough hay. You coming in, Jetty? You gonna stay out? Yeah. All right. So like you said, we use this for pigs. We had um, our first time we had pigs, we've had them up here. And this shed was, this shed was here when we bought the property, so it turned out pretty good. What do you say, buddy? Do you think mom has uh, dinner done yet? Yeah. Yeah? I hope so, because I'm hungry. Uh, we are all done, our chores. We got the we got all the feed delivered. And now we're just gonna race down the hill. It's raining, so, what? Run? Did you said race. Well, we can race. But, but what about I appreciate you guys tuning in. We got a lot of stuff planned ahead. Uh, one of the bigger things that I wanna do is clear out the tree of life. We already started, but I gotta finish it up. Gotta finish it up, get all that out. And it's gonna be a really cool place to hang out and just, you know, let let the Lord speak to you. That's gonna be a really cool place to hang out, especially with the spring right there. What, buddy? And then we can, um, I mean, um, uh, what the tree house could be, and we can fly down get a big zip line yeah. that would be really fun and then we can fly down so, so you don't have to be awake to yeah. the, and if the boy gets out we can mess up he, he does and he can't get us 
I know. We'll be flying through the through the pasture. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Well, I'm gonna be ending this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. The rain is getting on the camera. It is heavy right now. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and don't be afraid to leave some comments. I really appreciate you guys watching and we will see you guys around. Hit that subscribe button.